What's going on guys? So today we're reviewing the tactical shorts from 10,000. So let's jump right into it. Now quick disclaimer, I am an ambassador with 10,000, but they did not ask nor did they pay me to make this video. I just wanted to give my honest thoughts and opinions on the shorts. So first off, let's start with the purpose of these shorts. And these are the second shorts that have come out within 10,000's pro line, which is supposed to be a little bit more premium. So it's a few dollars extra and it has a little bit more of a focus on specific training or certain elements that they implement into these shorts. So when it came to the tactical shorts, I think they had two words in mind. The first being durability and the second being functionality. And immediately when you grab the shorts out of the bag, you notice the durability built into these shorts. The waistband is a double woven material, very similar to the foundation shorts if you have those from 10,000. So it is stitched very tight and it is a very rough and tough material. I don't see this ripping or breaking for anything. And that's a big improvement I've been happy to see 10,000 make with both the tactile and the set short is a just more simplistic, more durable waistband that's gonna hold form. On the inside, you have a simple drawstring and you will notice I knotted mine just because I pulled them and tied them tight one day and made the strings way overly long by accident and couldn't get them back in. So you'll notice I cut them and tied them in a knot, but ignore that for a minute. It is just a simple, nice, durable drawstring on the inside that works phenomenal. As far as the material, it is a similar spandex polyester blend as usual, but it's definitely more durable and kind of like a grid-like design you'll notice within these shorts if you look real close, but it's definitely more durable. It really reminds me of the thinness and feeling of the session shorts. Now on each side, you do have a regular full-size pocket and each one has a zipper, which I find very beneficial for, again, securing keys, phone, whatever you got in your pocket. And then if you still need to hold one more thing, you have that outer liner pocket that can fit a phone. I probably wouldn't use it that way and I don't think it'd be too comfortable on your leg, but it's always an option. And last, there is one very thin pocket on the inside as well. Other things you'll notice about the short design is there is a slit on the side, which adds for a lot more free range of motion rather than it catching on your leg. So it is nice if you do have bigger legs or doing very dynamic movements. Now, as far as performance, I think these are the best shorts 10,000 has ever come out with, mainly because I think it just merges the best of two worlds. My two favorite shorts for them was the session short because of the length, the five inch inseam, the lightness, the material, but I also really like the durability and a bit of the waistband from the foundation short. I feel like I got the best of both worlds with this. I have the lightness and the material of the session short, but a little bit more durable. I have the same great phenomenal liner, which I'll touch on in a minute. And at the top, I have the durability and the nice snug fit of a new waistband. So not only have these been my go-to shorts for leg days, but even upper body too. You know, whether I'm doing, you know, tire flips or squats, deadlifts, bench press, anything, I feel like these are just gonna be my go-to all around short. So I have these right now in a large and a five inch inseam of their OD green. But as soon as they get back in stock, I'm gonna be getting the black pair and seven inch inseam because I think, like I said, these are just gonna be my go-to for anything and everything. Now, the last thing that I'll touch on is the liner and go watch my other videos. I've rambled on and on about how phenomenal this liner is. It keeps everything that you want secure, snug, it's not overly tight. It's just exactly what you want in a liner. Now, like I said earlier, these do come in a five or seven inch inseam. So what I would recommend is if you're more of a runner, if you're gonna be using these for leg workouts, things of that nature, go with the five inch. But if they're gonna be more of an all around everyday use, any kind of workout, I would probably hit up the seven inch inseam. Now, as I'm recording this video, these shorts are out of stock completely in all the colors and all the sizes. But as soon as they come back in stock, I highly recommend getting a pair of these because it's only $4 extra for the Proline shorts. And I feel like you're getting one and a half almost the quality because for $4 extra dollars, you're just getting a far superior short in my opinion. Now, if you do end up trying to snag yourself a pair of the tactical shorts when they come back in stock, or you end up buying yourself another pair of shorts from 10,000, I do have a code for 15% off. It is code Covington, and you can save yourself 15% off your entire order. I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and if you have any questions at all about the tactical shorts or any other shorts from 10,000, you can leave them in the comments below and I'll get back to you. Make sure you like the video and subscribe for more videos like this, and I will see you guys in the next one.